Thanks, guys. On that one, yeah, for I mean, heck of a game. Two good teams going at it. Some elite shot making, especially down the stretch. Yeah, just a, a fun game to be a part of. Credit to CJ and their crew. Um, found a way to get it done down the stretch. And yeah, um, one for us to learn on from. Obviously, you know, shot ourselves in the foot in a number of areas, especially down the stretch there. But um, pretty good fight back from us. Can we get that down? Sorry, that's really. Um, anyways, yeah, no, it's a uh, good fight back. Again, we, we dug ourselves a bit of a hole early. We're able to recover, and you know, it's, it's shock. I actually think we played really well through a lot of the stretch, you know, dominated the game in a lot of areas, and um, couldn't make a shot, and they, they, they did. So credit to them, and, and we'll move on to the next. You talk about sort of shooting yourself in the foot early there, probably similar to the Brisbane game, a little bit, a bit of a slow start. How much cause for concern is there? About I think this one was just, you know, it's different. In Brisbane, we just couldn't make it didn't make a shot to start the Brisbane game. We were getting great looks and then, you know, came to and we, we figured it out. This one was more some like second chance opportunities. And, you know, we fouled apparently a lot in the first quarter and they didn't at all and gave them some opportunities at the foul line. And um, yeah, so we just dug ourselves a little bit of a hole and, you know, we're able to, again, grind it out, played really well, I think, throughout the quarter of the next like 25, 27 minutes. And then again, probably shot ourselves in the foot a little bit down the stretch. It's on like Randall shooting so well there from deck. How do you, what would you say to the guys when someone's gone crazy like that? Well, I mean, yeah, he went four or five, I think, in the first half, and he, he was hitting some tough ones. And um, we did a pretty good job on the second half, and then we just lose him that one late, and it's a big one. So uh, just, you know, an opportunity for us to learn and grow. Again, I think Justin did a, did a pretty darn good job on him in the second half, and then we just lost him on that one. It was a huge one. Talk about what you did well tonight. I think uh, the second unit really dominated, I think it was 23 8. Yeah, for sure. We got a lot of different guys. We could play a lot of different combinations off the bench. Kawat um, just felt like an opportunity, one of those games where he could make an impact for us, and I thought he was great. Um, if he'd have made a couple more of those shots, again, maybe the, the, the game turns a little differently for us in, in certain stretches. But I thought Kawat's minutes were really good, came out and guarded for us, and um, really helped us in moments of the game. Came out firing in the third quarter after a disappointing first half. What was kind of the message of the halftime break? Yeah, I mean, just kind of stick to it. Again, we, we dug them ourselves a hole with offensive rebounds. We watched some clips of offensive rebounds in the second, uh, in the halftime. Um, and, you know, again, we, we scored a pretty – I mean, I look at the box score. It's hilarious. Like, we scored 58 points in the paint, so they're 28. We scored – shoot 46 um, – shots in the paint to their 29 and still get out shot from the foul line. Like that, that's an anomaly you just don't see in basketball if you understand where fouls are drawn. And I don't know what the reason for that tonight. I was seemed like they got some good ones going their way at the rim that we just didn't get. And you know, you just don't you don't see numbers that skewed one way and have another team out shoot you the foul line. It just it, it's like once in a generation type thing. It's shocking to me. But yeah, uh, just one of those things, and didn't go our way tonight. And hell, if we'd have gotten more free throws, we probably wouldn't have made them anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. Coming into tonight's game, was there kind of a lot of pressure to perform well after last week's disappointing loss? Yeah, I mean, there's always pressure to perform in this league. Every game's an important one. Every game's tough. Home or road, obviously, the home fans want to see us come out, and you know, they pay good money to for us to win games, and um, we can't just take care of business on the road. But you know, again, I thought we played pretty well tonight. We just gotta gotta make a shot or two at the end of the night. When you talk about those numbers in the paint at the line, that's something you might want to see clarification just because there's only so much you can do on the court. But Yeah, I mean, again, I thought I thought our guys did a terrific job attacking the basket and, and, and it did the shows and the numbers that we were there a lot. Um, yeah, I have to go watch the tape. Derek, how did you feel out there? Felt good. Uh, wins and losses is where a point guard kind of hang his hat. So um, for me personally, I just would rather win than any other thing. Like, uh, even if you win ugly, it's usually better to win than, you know, kind of like let it slip through the cracks of your fingers. Your sort of third quarter, you really lifted the guys there um, back into the game. What was the talk like from yourself out there? Um, uh, I just kind of let the game unfold what is needed. Like, uh, I really don't think there's no really way to pinpoint it. It's kind of like the flow of the game kind of determine what's needed. Uh, if I need to score, I kind of do that. If I need to set guys up, if I need to Whatever the game kind of calls for me to do, I usually try to put my best foot forward and do that. Derek, how have you found, how have you, uh, found your time with the Kings so far? Uh, like I said, uh, they welcomed me with open arms. They allowed my, myself to be 
me. Um, guys are good. I found some good food places. I don't really have too much to complain about. <laughs> Playing against Melbourne, already beat them. Does that give you some confidence? Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure he would say the same thing. I kind of just remember the last couple minutes of your last game, and uh, I think it's more so motivation than yeah. anything. So it's kind of, uh, I'm pretty sure the guys and myself will be a little more fired up to get back out there and right our wrongs. But for the most part, uh, you don't really look too far, you know, behind. You just kind of remember the last time you was out there. Chris, you're out. Uh, yeah, as a player, that's, you know, that's the only way you can kind of control your fate is, you know, you get a second opportunity to go, like I said, you know, capitalize on mistakes that you made. And um, I'm pretty sure everybody takes it personally, just due to the fact that everybody wants to win. So uh, I wouldn't say I expect everybody to, you know, be a better version of themselves, but I'm pretty sure we won't make the same mistakes continuously. And Chase, on Sunday's game, I, it's an interesting one because two weeks ago, you know what worked so well in the game. Yeah, no, it'll be a good game. My guess is there will not be a lot of space in the middle of the floor. <laughs> Anyone else? Anyone else? You good, thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, guys.